y'all. Thank you for tapping in with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Cleveland. So we are back in Stockton, California, y'all. We over here at Twins Aquarium. And I told you last night on that live that we about to get a horn shark. So make sure you stick around. We about to go grab that horn shark. Let's go. So as soon as you come in, they got the clownfish right here, feather dusters, diamond gobies. Let's go see that horn shark. Like a male? You like it. Shit, they got some big gobi in here too. Bunch of gobi. Nice size. Some African cichlids right here. Some more African cichlids. Some buddy coffin. Nice color red devils. Tiger Oscars. Got some severums in here as well. Red belly Paku. Oh shit. They got the golden dog face puffer. Two of them. I like it. Let's see where the horn shark at. There he is. Not looking that big either. Find out what he's eating first. Yeah. Usually he's swimming around. I don't know why he's not swimming right now. Got the orange mocha storm clownfish. I don't know what kind of clownfish that is. Got the boxfish right here. Lionfish. Some big storms up top. Like some black storms right here. Neon dotty back firefish. Yeah, yeah. Got a lot. And all the corals. All the corals over here. Let's take a look at the other saltwater fish. All right, all right. So, right over here, we got the banana, banana eel. You got the juvenile emperor angel, dog face puffer, nasso tang, a whole bunch of hippo tanks down below the top. Emperor angel, the clown trigger, big nasso tang, fox face rabbit fish. Yeah, look how big that maroon clown is right there. That cinnamon clownfish. Huge. So yeah, right here we got the wolf eel. That's a green wolf eel right here. The Polini grouper. What else? What else? What else? Bunch of different damsels down below. Emperor Angel. Magnificent fox face rabbit fish. A bunch of magnificent fox face rabbit fish. Another extra large cinnamon clownfish. Big purple tang. Big Niger trigger. Yeah, he got some options. He got he got that shit for you. Then over here, a bunch of different goldfish, sarandas. These are pretty cool too. The Mohawk on him. So yeah, a bunch of different fish. And over here, he got the birds back there. Got the koi over here. All different sizes. Frontosa down below. Uh, these look like rainbow Congo textures over here. Up top, he got the discus. 
Got some fleckos in here. Got some. Got some peacock bass. I don't think any of those are killberry, so. Nope. What y'all say? Orinoco. Those are pretty sick right there. Some more peacocks. More discus. Got the African cichlids over here. Got the rainbow fish. Got some mollies. Got the bicers down below. Excuse me. Got some angel fish right here. The rose line bars. We definitely got to grab some of them. Black Widow Prime Tulsa back there. That's where I got all four of mine at. Look at the trophies down there. Trophies is pretty cool too. And then a bunch of Africans. Oh, that's a nice African circle right there too. Excuse me. Nice African cichlid. We got the Goliath tiger fish in here. The Hepcetus Odo pike. Might have to get another one. Might have to get another one. John, what's going on? How you doing? You got a bunch of dovi in here, man. What's going on? I got some. I got some dovi fried for you as well. I got some Dovi Feste hybrids. I got like 40 of them. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Interested? Uh, no. Not right. I know, I know not right now, but at any time you think you'll be interested? No? All right. All right, y'all. So we're going to see about this. We're going to see about this horn shark right here. See what he's eating. Make sure it's in good health. And then we're going to see about taking him home. Now that's a big golden nugget right there. All right. We're going to wait a while because it's pretty busy in here. But uh, we're going to get back to it. See you in a minute. All right, y'all. So I told y'all I was going to do some damage. Didn't know it was going to be that much damage. But we picked up the horn shark. We picked up a Goliath tiger fish. Yeah. The last time we seen one, he was 280. This one was 120. And then got this cool ass... Vieja. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, did some damage. Time to get to the house. Get them acclimated. And you know the rest. See you there. What's up? Now we are back at the house. And just like that, we are about to add these fish to their new tanks. Respective tanks. So, I spent a little bit of time hooking up this 60 gallon down here. Because I didn't want the fish to jump out. So, we are going to put... This tiger fish, it's a vitidus tiger fish. We're gonna put this one down here inside of this 60 gallon. And I got this bad boy rigged up so he will not do anything jumping out. It's rigged up so much that it's not gonna be that easy for me to, there we go. There you go. He's in there by himself. He's going to be in there by himself. We'll let him acclimate. There's no rush. We, gotta, we don't have to put a rush job on that. This vieja put a hole in the bag. Yeah, right there. A little drip. But this guy is going to go into... Maybe I'll slide him in a 180. Um, he's kind of bigger than those guys. That's where I was going to put him at. Maybe I will throw him in there. 
Say what back? That's why I was gonna throw him. That's why I was gonna throw him in the um in the one eighty with the other ones. Yeah, he put a couple holes in the bag. Yeah, Damn. I see, it. I see it. All right, so we'll slide him off to the side for now, and then we got lastly. Lastly, we got this shark right here. So this is the one that we've been. Let's get over there. Carter, what you doing, boy? All right, so before we acclimate this shark and add him into this tank, matter of fact, I probably could acclimate him at the same time. So we'll go ahead and uh, and get him emptied out. I got to find the best place to acclimate him. No, babe, I'm, I need to find something to put him in, babe. All right, babe, come on. All right. So we're going to put him inside of this, bu inside of this bucket for the acclimation. I think uh, he won't have enough water to acclimate him inside of this styrofoam little bin. So let's go ahead and get him out. So, yeah, John, yeah, yeah, John, he was ready today. He was ready today. John always looks out. Stocking Aquarium, you should definitely check them out. As a matter of fact, I might have to put him in this but in this uh in this little styrofoam because I don't know how I'm gonna Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Hopefully there's enough water. There is. Okay, it is. Oh, look at him. Oh, such a cool shark. Nice, yeah. you wanna hold, I'm holding this side. You want to hold it? Yeah. So let me go ahead. Yeah, a little sharky. Say See how he has a little venomous little Don't horn touch. on him? Don't touch. Yeah. I should probably keep. You love the shark? You love the shark already? <laughs> you know what? I love the shark already, too. We both love the shark. So he is swimming and swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, huh, Carter? So, yeah. So, now let's go ahead and get this little drip going. And don't let Carter touch him because yeah. he has that little venomous little horn on him. So, we'll do a drip acclimation. Just like that. When the water doubles in volume, we'll go ahead and add them. And this is a... Oh. Oh, no. Okay, so let me go and grab another extension. Excuse me, Carter. Carter, excuse me. Carter. Thank you. Excuse me, Carter. All right. So let's do this again. There we go. Check it out, babe. We're trying to acclimate them real quick. I want them to see that process. So just like that, and as soon as the water doubles in volume, we'll add them in. And so, yeah, he is 
Yeah, he's probably, he's probably about a foot. Well, now that I see him out of the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's about a foot. I didn't think he was, but yeah, I would say so. And that's about the drip that I, that's, a, that's pretty good. That's pretty fair. So as soon as that water doubles in volume, we'll add them in. I definitely have to top that off because I'm pulling out a lot of water. Now, yeah, we're going to definitely feed them on camera. So y'all are in for a treat. Y'all went to the pet store with me. We picked up a shark. We haven't had a shark in a couple of years. And now y'all are watching a feeding video of me feeding the fish in the 225-gallon predator tank. Carter, come on, boy. All right, first one. Okay, Alicia Ray. There we go. All right, next up. There we go. Oh, no, no. Should be all right. There we go. Come on. There we go, girl. Damn, girl. It's right there. Damn. She gonna be playing no games. All right. Lionfish King, come on. There you go, King. There you go. Inhale that. All right. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Come on. It's a right. There you go. You don't have to be so aggressive with it. Right here, y'all. There we go. Uh huh. Test. Let's go. Everybody got to eat. We don't want you to think that the, there we go, part, uh-huh, next up, mm-hmm, come on, who else, another one, there you go, bud, right there, bam, get it, yep, easy, you was hungry today, weren't you, I know, King, right there, right there in front of you, King, all right, well, I got you, there you go. Bart looking like, what's up, what about me? I think we got a piece of shrimp in there for you, too. Right there in front of you. Why are you acting like that? I dropped it on the ground. Only because you went to stare for a long time. Here we go, another. There's a shrimp for you. Shrimp for somebody. The lionfish wipe the shrimp on. There we go. Bart, it's all that right there in front of you. All right. Got you right here, Lisa Ray. Don't trip. There we go. Easy. Knocking them down. Knocking them down. Knocking them down. What's up? Lionfish? Panic. Get it. Here comes the panther grouper. Which one you want? Right here for you. You gonna get something from down there or what? There you go. You play too much. Got a couple more right there. There you go. It's right on play. No games. So shrimp right there. I don't know what happened to the um, silver side. In there. It's in there. Mm -hmm. Somebody dropped it. Not in there. I don't see it. I can't believe you right now. I cannot believe you playing these games. There you go, Lisa Ray. Yeah, Lisa Ray is definitely, oh, get that down. It's one of the best eaters. There you go, Bart. Stop playing. Eat that. Yeah, grab that. Uh-huh. Yeah. What were you waiting on? I don't know. Man, I'm going to take them back up out of there, then, boy. Both of them. Give me that other one, too. Yeah. Yeah, you don't get it. <laughs> get us the, give us that back. <laughs> Snooze, you lose. Snooze, you lose. <laughs> you ain't, you ain't gonna get none of that. Here you go, Bart. You mean you spoil? Yeah, I know. He's back there now. Well, y'all are looking nice and nice and full. Sorry. Oh, okay. You full now, huh? That's cool. All right. So that's what we needed to do. Got everybody nice and fed, and you're right, I might put that 
Vieja, that marble Vieja in the tank with the Oscars. We can see how it goes. Yeah. And if there's no issues, it'll be cool. If there is ish issues, we'll move them out. Yeah. We got the shark, y'all. We got the shark. We've been wanting this horn shark for a long time. And he's definitely a good size to go in here. I'm gonna be excited too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's looking a little hungry. I wonder if he'll oh, eat. I was just gonna say, trying to feed him. I wonder if he'll eat while he's in there. Probably not, though. You know, it's kind of stressful. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of stressful going from. I would put a tap of vitamin in there just in case. Oh, oh what's up? Yeah, eating, <laughs> eating inside of the little storage. That's all good. I can do it tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely. They all got to wait on the shark eating a vitamin, but that was good. Eating literally in the little holding container. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, I like it here. Yeah, I like it here. It's good here. I'm getting food already. Look at him. He's extra excited now. Uh-huh. Yeah. That is so good to see, y'all. That is so good to see. Man. Y'all heard it last night. I was talking about it. Kept debating on it. I expressed how bad we wanted the horn shark. I was talking to someone with a little bit more experience than me. Well, a lot more experience than with experience with keeping horn sharks. So it's really exciting to see this coming to fruition the next day after that live. And like I said, he's already eating while he's in there. It's okay. You ain't got to eat all of it. So if you don't eat that one right there, you still have one. That's so exciting. And yeah, I know. You're going to swim it through all of this, huh? Come on, it's right there. What's up? Did you want it? Did you want it? Nah. Is it enough? You want to check it out? Is it enough? Hold on. All right. You are such a cool shark. But, so how many did he eat? Three? No, he ate, he ate like a, a total of one. Um, oh. Okay. There were there were halves. Oh, halves. Yeah. Okay, okay. Just so I know how to feed. Yeah. All right, all right, okay. Um, I kind of feel bad that he has to keep swimming around. Yeah, see, that was a problem. I don't want him to have to keep swimming around that like that. Can you tape, like, right here? Tape it to right there? I don't know if I yeah. could do that. Um, maybe I could just... Put this side in a lot. Damn. Damn. That broke the the siphon. Hopefully not, though. Okay, yeah, didn't break it. Get all that air up out of there. Uh-huh. Didn't break the siphon. So, yeah, we'll just let it just chill like that now. Now nah, he's good. We are going to go to the other fish room. We're going to acclimate the marble, the marble vieja. And by the time we come back, it'll be time to introduce him to his tank mates. And uh, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna love it in here. He's gonna love it in here. All right, let's get to the other fish room, y'all. All right, y'all, so we are in the fish room. And again, here is that marble vieja. Should throw them down below in the 180. Let's see. Looking like he's about the size of the Rio Texas. And he does get big and he gets aggressive. What you think, babe? I say try it out and then we'll just keep an eye on all right. They are, they're super right, right, right. We don't have we don't have no food right now. All 
right, so as you can see, we got some beautiful fish in this aquarium. That red dove eye is looking so good. Red Texas, like, I'm about to come up here and start some stuff with you for sure. But, yeah. Um, we have, we also have the red head, red top. Yay, Hassan spill them. I like that one a lot. Hopefully, one is a male. Hopefully, matter of fact, hopefully both of, both of them are males. I like the fact that they get the nuchal humps. But uh, we'll see how this goes. I think uh, it might be a better choice to put this fish in here instead of the 55 gallon with the small Oscars because the Oscars are quite little and you know that's why I took the Oscars out of here but look at him he's already trying to he's already trying to start some stuff we'll see how we act once the fish is out the bag sometimes they act like they're tough and big and bad and all that and then when they when the fish get out the bag it changes up entirely so we'll see how that goes and then uh, we'll go from there so we got about 15 minutes and then we'll go ahead and, and get the, the, um, the tiger, the tiger fish out. Then we'll go and remove the horn shark. And then lastly, we'll come back over here and we'll release this gay high. The only fish that I'm really worried about is the red Texas. And if you notice that dove eye though, right? Not that one, the other dove eye that changed on us. Where is he at? Watch when you see him. You're going to be like, I didn't know that was a dove eye. Yeah, that's not even the look. There's the little one. But hey, look, show him the little one. That was the little, that's the little one, the white one. But how in the hell did he transform from what he looked like, looking like a regular dove eye, to that? Just back and forth, back and forth, changing. Man, transformer. Optimus. <laughs> Optimus Prime. All right, so we'll see you in about 15 minutes. All right, y'all, so it's been about 15, 20 minutes. We're going to start off by releasing this tiger fish. See how easy this is going to be? Like I said, since it's going to be the only fish going inside of this tank, I could actually put the water in there as well. Nah. There we go. Oh, yeah. Already see the red in the tail. Such a beautiful fish. Yeah, this is a super predator right here, y'all. Get the side. The teeth are like canine teeth when it's full grown. Extremely excited about this fish. Uh-huh. They gonna get nothing. They just gonna get better. Get better with time. So I'm not quite sure what he's eating. I'll probably have to figure it out. Hopefully we don't have to feed him any feeders. That's what I'm hoping. But if he is eating feeders, we're gonna do what we gotta do to keep him alive. Zoom in on those teeth. Yeah, yeah. Woo! So excited about that guy right there that's jaws right there that's a good name yeah good jaws. that's definitely a good name we got jaws <laughs> let's go check on sharknado all right babe all right so now we got this guy right here. He is ready to go. Ready to get in. I damn near really just want to. Lisa Ray. I damn near really want to make sure. You think the water doubled in volume? I think it did, yeah. Think so? No more. No more cookies. Oh, Mickey Mouse. Okay. I'll get you Mickey Mouse. Yeah, Pops. See the shark? Yeah. Oh, watch your hair. Yeah, Papa, your first shark. Is it cool? So, uh, like I said, 
John just grabbed the guy like it was nothing. Carter, no, 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 no. Leave that alone. Good job. Thank you. So, what you think, babe? Um, I wouldn't just grab him with my hands. I'm talking about you think that... Uh, oh, I think that's enough. Unless you, you want to wait a little bit more, we could... Do Carter, that don't too. do that. Don't do that. We could wait a little bit more if that makes it for one Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I do want to wait until the water doubles a little bit more. I want to make sure that there's no mishaps whatsoever. And the best way to do that is to make them as slow as possible. So we want to make sure that he's literally sitting in this container with a hundred percent of this water right here. So that's so we'll be back in about fifteen more minutes. Oh. All right, y'all. So we are back in the fish room. We are going to now release this marble vieja. Fingers crossed that there's not any issues with the red Texas. He is the most aggressive fish in here, even though he's not the boss of the aquarium. So he's the only one that I'm pretty much. I am going to do that. So he's the only one that I'm pretty much worried about. No. And unlike the 60 gallon, since there's other fish in here, I will not be just putting all this water in there. So we'll just pour it out just like that. Oh, the way he plopped. Right, because he was fighting it the whole time. All right, let's see. All right. All of his friends came over to say hello. We'll see how it goes. I need to grab a paper towel to wipe off the watermarks. Huh? He's a little scared. He went in a little cave. All right. Where's uh, the red Texas at? Over here on this side. Okay. So far, they haven't met yet. We'll see. The other VA high, like, hold on. I was the only VA high in here. All oh, mad and shit. But yeah, it's not definitely not a problem. We have more tanks to put them in if there is an issue. I don't think it's going to be. I, I mean, as far maybe it's too soon to tell, but it's definitely just, too soon to tell. It just looks like he's cruising. Crazy. Yeah. So the red Texas is doing exactly what I thought he was gonna do. Well, he seems like he's chill. If you want to put him in there, I know. Probably should have done that from the start. My bad. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah, I think I will just go ahead and yeah, and, right. and not just that. Everybody seems a little interested. Now we can't even acclimate you now, but eh. right here, over there on that side, mm -hmm. right in the middle, right on the sponge. Well, I got your ass now. You in the corner, boy. Boom. Oh. <laughs> Shook me. Yeah. Now I got to disassemble the rock structure. Red 
Red Tiger Motor one right there. Well, all right, well, can't get you right now, but I might have to get them in a minute. Maybe when they come back out, maybe I'll stop being, maybe I'll stop half ass trying to catch them and I'll pull out both of these big nets. Just didn't think it was going to call for all of that. So that's what I got to do. When he come back out, we're going to catch him. I'll throw him in that 55 gallon with the with the Oscars over there. And he's not going to bully those guys. This should be good. So um, I'll let you know when I catch him. I'll be back. All right, so I caught him finally. Definitely wasn't easy. And then, there you go. Yeah, there you go. So now he's inside of this tank with the Oscars. Should definitely be a much better situation for him. I knew it was kind of risky throwing him in here with all of these aggressive fish. But I thought based on his size, we would have a better outcome than what we actually had. So now, we'll go ahead and put everything back. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> it's so crazy how they yell like that. Tongues out. Yeah, a little stress, you know. Got thrown in the hall, acclimated to this tank, and then in the end had to dip up out of there. It's all good though. He's going to be good. Much better now that he's not in that tank with the, these mean fish. Alright y'all so alright y'all so we are good. We got the new Vieja Marble Vieja in the 55 gallon with these three Tiger Oscars. Everybody down there in that 180. Doing amazing, look really good. <clears throat> they don't need to see that one yet. We're gonna give you guys an update later on. Y'all haven't seen that that 180 in its entirety. So now we probably should be able to get that horn shark into that 225. Let's go. All right, now, now the water has doubled in volume. Now the water has doubled in volume. And it is time to get our horn shark that we gotta come up with a name for. Into this Sharknado is the name of a, a cartoon movie. I don't think I actually want to name him Sharknado. I, I was just being funny. Yeah, yeah. I was just being funny. It just rolled out the tongue. So yeah, because it was it was a funny little cartoon. Little yeah. That's like if I would have said Megalodon. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. That's why it came. That's why it rolled out like that. Because it's actually already something. So yeah. We'll come up with some good names. We'll find a good name. Y'all could drop some. Drax. That sounds like Drax. All right, so, like I said, he grabbed his joint with his hand. All right, let's go. All right, there we go. Go ahead, get out. There we go. Look at him. Pretty freaking cool, y'all. If I say so myself. Yeah, definitely got hiding space in there. Go ahead, you can record. I want to see what's about to happen. He's Yeah. All right, the horn shark is in. Ah. All 
All right, y'all. So that's about it. That wraps it up. We got everybody in their respective tanks. I cut the lights off on this 225. I want him to kind of, you know, settle in. You know what I mean? Sometimes that's the best way of doing it. You allow them to settle in with the lights off. So um, also feeding them first. That's why we fed them first. So that's it. So that's it. That's all I have for you. Hope that you enjoyed this extra long video tour feeding. Got new fish, all that fun stuff. Hope that you learned something. Hope that you're inspired by something. If you're anywhere near Twins Aquarium in Stockton, California, anywhere in the Bay Area, Bay Area get over there, check them out, and uh, let them know Cleveland sent you. Might give me a might be, might give me a discount on my next purchase. You never know. But before we go, I also want to make sure that I, you know, note that hey, go ahead and join the membership. You see that join button right there? You know, help the channel a little bit more. Hit that join button. Also, we got the shelf down below. Teespring. You know, it's a lot of different merch over there. I kind of showed the, the guys last night. Carter. I kind of showed the chat last night how you look at the Teespring, how you look at all the merch on there. But it's a lot of different stuff on there. You might, have, might find something that you like. It's not just embroidered with just teeth with um with with the fish corner got some some real positive sayings and some humor and all type of different stuff so go ahead and check it out right down below teespring check out the store we got the membership think about joining that and if you can't at least do that i need you to do something for me if you like the video like the damn video peace All right, y'all, so we almost at 20K. We almost at 20K. I appreciate you all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, share the content, help us get to that 20K. Also, follow us over on TSC with me on TikTok and YouTube. That is our other channel, Behind the Scenes. You get to see all the Behind the Scenes content. Aida's in charge of that one. She's been doing a wonderful job getting ahead of me. So if you want to get ahead of me too, you got to follow over there. But again, I appreciate you all. Let's get to that 20K. Have a good one. Peace.